Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to Agrarian Skies. Yes, back in action guys. That was a weird intro. Anyway, how you guys doing? I'm doing well as always and we're going to start this episode with a bit of an upgrade. Uh, things have been kind of, you know, doing as they do. Um, haven't really had much chance to, to work with this server, but you know how it goes. It is what it is. Let's pop downstairs here. And I wonder if you can guess what I'm going to be upgrading. Guess. Come on, guess. Anybody? No guesses. All right, fine. I'll tell you. Fine. It is a brand new jetpack. We're going to upgrade to the next tier just to be safe. I mean, we could go all the way to the fourth tier, but eh, whatever. I don't need to do that. Wait, does that actually have a... Okay, I thought that actually had like a rating like the tools. I was going to be like, uh, that's not right. So, of course, this guy goes uh, something like this. Fix that. Of course, we have our uh, redstone energy capacitor, our flux capacitor, rather. And our jetpack goes in the middle, and we have a brand new jetpack. Which is dangerously low on power because it holds a whopping 2 million RF. So, let's go schluck this guy into the energetic diffuser real quick. Mm, this guy's going to get drained very, very quickly, as you can see, all, all the way down. And now our our energetic, our, uh, our magmatic uh, dynamos should be outputting at a much higher rate. Why are you not? How much, how much maximum RF power is 1,000 mark per tick? Currently getting 400. You're at 80. You are, okay, that's why, because they're currently draining you. That's why. Look at you go. Charge away, my friends. ADR for tick. So that guy's gonna that that guy's that that's not even that's not even close to good English. That guy is going to charge. As you can see, I do like the um the animation on this guy. It's pretty neat. Um speaking of really cool animations, uh you guys are gonna get a treat with the upcoming episode of Crash Landing with the really, really cool assembly. Uh, assembly, it was assembly controller, assembly IO. It's part of Pneumaticraft. It is super, super, super cool. It is very interesting. I really, really like that animation. Um, still doesn't take the cake from Thomcraft. Got to say that. Thomcraft still has the coolest animation for crafting. All right, how you doing? You almost done? Wow, that's a lot of power. We're going to have to upgrade our power situation. Not because these guys use more power. Specifically because this guy uses a lot of power. <laughs> but, I mean, at least we didn't just jump right into the Enderium version, because this holds a whopping 10 billion. Which, I don't think I have anything that can transmit at that, that rate. Like, the right dead energy cable, like, if we had Ender IO, it would be a lot better, I guess. Because Ender IO transmits at a very, very high rate. Uh, I believe the top tier on that one is 20,000 RF per tick, which would be ideal. That would be rather ideal, but, uh, you know, we take what we can get. All right, I can I can live with 1.6 million and get in there. Okay, so if I turn this guy on... Ooh, look how fast I go. And I, I need uh, hover mode. Oh, yeah, look how, look how, like, slow you fall with hover mode, man. And how little power you're using. Oh, that's so good. And if I hold shift, it drops and you can shut the hell up. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Well, speaking of shutting the hell up and getting things working, we're here going to be working with this dude today because uh, I really want to get this guy upgraded and you are a blood orb. Get back here, you. That's my blood orb as it stands right now. I can fill my soul network up with it, as it were. Uh, we do need to upgrade this platform at some point, but this is our, our tier two uh, blood altar as it stands. We do need to get ourselves to a tier three uh, or at least a tier two. Let's open up, because, uh, yeah, we've done that, baby. Open Skyblock. What's missing in this guy? Oh, yes, that's still missing. I keep forgetting. Then there's bees and trees, which we could do with some cultivated bees, which is uh, not going to be today, because I need to dedicate some time to making a, a nice little home for our bees. Might, uh, what am I thinking? It might actually kind of go out on a diagonal that way or something. Uh, I'm not quite sure. It will be something. It will be good. I just need to actually do it. Oh, look. I forgot to upgrade that guy. How foolish of me. I'm going to fix that. But yeah, we're going to be working on our blood altar today. Um, 
what we're going to be doing is actually going to be cutting off our mob farm for the time being because we really don't need it. Uh, the liquid XP tank is kind of nice, but uh, we really don't need it. We have a ton of stuff. We, we have so much stuff we, we really don't even know what to do with ourselves. But we can use these mobs to get ourselves some nifty stuff in blood magic. So let's open up the Euro Wizard Steve. And then we have some things we can do. We do, 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 we do, oh my goodness, I can't speak. We do need to do some blood alchemy stuff. So maybe we'll take a look at that as well. Because we need, what do we need? Weak mining agent, simple catalyst, and a push flask. Not bad. We can work with that. I can, I can work with that. Um, other options do include this guy here. We need larger orbs. Now, we just got ourselves the apprentice orb, which I kind of jumped the gun on that one, but whatever. But with this, we can get four blood runes and 16 ritual stones, as well as this kind of stuff. We have to pick one, which I'd probably go with the ritual stone. Uh, not sure, but we need a magician's blood orb. And in order to... Uh, let's see here. Where are you? Let's go at blood magic. At blood magic. See, we need... Not the bound blade. Uh, where are you? Ah, dagger sacrifice. In order to make this guy, we've already got the apprentice blood orb with that guy. But a lot of the other things we need to make with alchemy and whatnot require the magi the magician's blood orb, which is that guy right there. And I think the master one is not is the last highest tier, or the last highest tier, or the archmage. Sorry, it goes yeah, it goes it's gonna go master and then archmages, I assume, or it's gonna go one or the other. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Like, how do you make this guy? A demon blood shard, 75,000, tier 5. How about... Okay, what do we need to make? That's actually a really good question. What do we need to make the, this guy? Tier 3. Okay, so I am going to have to make a tier 3 altar. Uh, I'm going to gather the materials to do that. And I will be back, guys. Okay, guys, so we're back here. And we're going to make ourselves a dagger of sacrifice. That's going to be the thing we're working on right now. Let's make ourselves that guy right there. We got him now. So this guy works um, pretty much like the Orb of Sacrifice. Instead, uh, instead rather than being a self-sacrifice thing, it's actually... Uh, let's see. It, it actually kills mobs and, and does the same thing. So now I've already started working on this guy. Uh, I've got the layout here. Now this is... See, this is where I'm thinking we're going to have to to really alter this island uh, quite a bit. The top tier tower is, I believe, or top tier um, uh, altar is actually like the entire size of this island. So we may end up having to adjust it somewhat. Or we'll just kind of build it down, whatever, it'll end up down there and it'll do its thing. But that's okay. No, that's really not an issue. Uh, the big thing is going to be, we're going to have to put a block above this guy. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. Let's grab some dirt here, and we'll use the dirt. Like this, and we'll put... Like, uh, like that. Pretty much how it's gonna go. Because we want this guy to be... Yeah, so they're gonna be right there. We'll have a one block sort of gap. Um... Use that guy like that and like that so that we can, we can, yeah, we can hit him in there. Beautiful. That guy is going to be there like so. And we should be able to go pretty much around this guy. Why am I not, why am I not flying? I have a jetpack. So the idea is, you know, I have no idea if this is going to work, by the way. <laughs> this is a complete and total crapshoot, folks. I have no idea if this will actually work. We're going to find out. Okay, so he's going to go like that, and like that, and that should be good. Now let's go grab ourselves some cobblestone to actually build this guy out. Thank God for jetpacks. Let's grab oh, a couple stacks ought to do us. Alrighty, let's go back upstairs. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna grab. I really should do something about this. 
Got dirt lying all over the place. Very dirty. Tisk tisk, as they say. Now, if we go, uh, that's going to kind of be in the way. So let's, let's kind of go like, like that. I think it's going to be the way to do this. And then they're kind of just, you know, in this little one block space here. And that's cool. That should be okay in theory. We're going to, this is all, this is all theory, by the way. I have no idea if this is actually going to work or not. But uh, in theory, it will. Okay. Break this guy. What am I doing? Where is my shovel? Oh, I don't have one. Oh, well. Okay, so that's going to be like that. Um, now that I grab, I did grab those. And they should be fairly weakened already, in theory. And now I'm just going to go straight back here like this. The idea is going to be just to kind of funnel them down. I may need to make this guy 2 by 2 Like, actually, so let's actually knock this guy out just a little. That's actually not a big deal. I'm going to build this little bridge thing here and get this all set up. And you guys will, you guys don't need to watch me uh, digging around in this, this dirt. Uh, literal, literal dirt. Okay, he's going to go like that. So it's going to be like this. It's not 100% uh, perfect here, but you know how it is. It should be fine. Uh, this should, in theory, work. I believe I've seen something like this done before. I may also be crazy and hallucinating the whole thing. You never know. You never know. But uh, I'm going to build this guy out. It's going to go over there. It'll connect to our mob farm. I'm going to put a platform in to divert them. They'll, they'll fall. They'll take some damage, which is fine by me. And then they'll conveyor belt themselves over here. And uh, I'll stand here and uh, chop them up. That's kind of the plan as it stands. I'm going to stare at the sunset and I will get to work. See you guys shortly. Well, I am not a clever man. I forgot to let the tunnel up. So we're down to 29 lives. That was my own fault. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Oh, God. I got to go quick. Because we're going to have a lot of bad guys spawning in that tunnel if we're not careful. Uh, I'm going to grab some torches from somewhere or something. Ah, screw it. Let's just... Let's just go back here. Go super, super quick. Ah, come on. Grab all my stuff. And... Hi there. That is a lot of bad guys. That is a very, very large amount of bad guys. Um, I need... Oh, man, I'm missing so much stuff. What the heck? Okay, you got that guy. They've got our... Oh, shoot. Okay, so we need... We have no pick. I still have our pick. Okay, I'm going to have to defend these guys up. And why are you over here now? You shouldn't be over here. There should be enough light. Get out of there. Okay, so we need torches in the worst possible way. Let's quickly grab some torches. I believe I have some somewhere. Beware being the operative question. Um, let's see. Uh, let's grab some armor first of all yeah that's a good idea tech stuff magic stuff um, random no idea oh come on i don't have any torches anywhere are you kidding me are you kidding me i have one torch i have one measly torch are you kidding me okay well you go in here i have no idea why those glass bubbles are on me 
You can go in the no idea chest. You belong in here. Uh, no idea. You can go in here. Okay, let's grab. Oh, first, first of all, let's sleep. God damn, son. I got wrecked. <laughs> 30 lives. That's really annoying. Okay, come on. I need I need sticks. I need something. Anything at all. Nothing. You were useless to me. Okay, let's go like this. Okay. You go. No, not you. Oh, oh wait. That's uh, glowstone strips. Okay, we're good. We can use them. Oh my, hello. Where the hell did you come from? You can get the hell out of here. Yeah, that's it. Get the, get. How did you get down there? You most certainly do not belong there. Uh -oh. Okay, so, in theory, this is how this works. Oh, shit. Whew. Okay, did we get our, we got our pick. Okay, so let me just... Put... Put some of these down anywhere, anywhere really, because I don't need them spawning here. This doesn't actually need to be dark. I mean, it won't matter once once we're here, but I mean, good goddamn. In the meantime, that's very aggravating. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this guy off now, and then we'll be back with the finished product, guys. See you guys very very soon. Very, very soon. Very, very soon. Hopefully I won't buy again. Okay, we are back and I'm alive and we have all our stuff and it's now working. So I'm going to go ahead dump all the things we don't need off into a garbage can, preferably. Our armor did something at least. Uh, let's put away... Oh, okay, we don't have any of that. Where is my garbage can? There it is right there. Don't need you. Certainly don't need that carrot or that gunpowder or that. Well, those I might need. I don't need you. Don't need that. Okay, good. Now, now that we have a little more room in our inventory, we're going to go ahead and drop some of this tech stuff off like you. And what else needs to get dropped off? Not nothing really. I want to put my head. Well, let's go ahead and put my head like just like. Yeah, let's decorate it with right there. Yeah, that seems good. All right, now let's go back upstairs and see how well this guy works. Oh, after we grab our division, or er, yeah, is that division symbol? Sigil, uh, uh, divination, divination sigil. My bad. My mistake. Okay, so let's take a look at the roof of this guy here. Yeah, okay, so we're going to need to light, light this guy up. So, okay, I should be fine. Now, currently, life points stored in this guy is 6,500. So, if I. Ow. There are too many of these guys. Wow, these guys exploded the drop of a hat, don't they? Good to know. Thank God they've turned grief enough. That would be horrible otherwise. What I should do is have an automatic way of opening and closing this system. Because this is just ridiculous. However, this does appear to be working. Let's grab our sigil of the vision. 10,000. Okay, so this guy's currently full. Which means I'm going to start... Uh, making our 
slates that we need, and I can easily keep that guy full up because of this system. I really should, like I said, devise a way to automatically go doo -doo -doo -doo, make those go in. Drawbridges would be the best for that. So I may do that. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to grab what we need and I'm going to make a whole bunch of slates and we don't have to worry about dying. So that's a bonus. So I shall see you guys once I have a whole bunch of the slates in a little bit. Okay, guys, welcome back. We are here now and I need to get some food. What do I want? Let's go with blackberry jelly. Uh, we've got ourselves enough stuff to finish off tier two. Uh, let's see, this took a while, and, uh, I got beat the hell up because of these stupid, uh, creepers. But, uh, we're okay. It's all good. It's all good. I can, I can, I can deal with this. Uh, let's go like that. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, let's put these 12 in there. Like that. Alrighty. Now let's, uh, beef this guy up. And now you'll notice that I have 30 total guys on here and that is because we need to make 15 of these oh just a bit short that's okay we have 14 uh let's go oh, one, two, one, two. gives us the six we need to finish this off now these slates are kind of neat uh like a, or certain slates these are just the basic blood runes, as you already know. Now, I went ahead and I made some speed runes just to see kind of what it would do. We don't have enough to make any more. We could make some runes of sacrifice, which would go a long way. And the other one I wanted to look at was doing the rune of augmented capacity, which we're going to need the magician's blood orb for. So that's a little bit outside of our leverage at this point. Uh, the other one would be rune of self-sacrifice, which we don't really need. The rune of sacrifice, efficiency rune which we cannot make speed rune, blood rune, rune of augmented. So yeah, we let's um let's try and make some runes of sacrifice cuz we've got what we need. We just need some flux electrum which we get from pyrothium and flux electrum blend which is how do I make you? We put some electrum blend with redstone. Okay, so let's go on over here. I'm going to put Okay, so let's go Let's grab a stack of redstone. Like you. Put you on in the magma crucible. I'm going to grab a stack of electrum, which I should have enough. Um, uh, let's Yeah, we'll make we'll make a whole stack. Oh, uh, we don't have enough. Oh, that's okay. We'll make 30 of them. Now that's like that. We'll pulverize him. Sorry, it's furnace pulverizer. I'm gonna let these guys pulverize up. We'll make ourselves some stuff, and we'll see if we can't put some more um, more of those guys on there. Let's quickly take a look at our quest log, however, and just take a look. Because realistically, we're gonna need ritual stones. So uh, we're probably gonna go with with the 16 ritual stones because ritual stones are kind of hard to make, if I remember correctly. Uh, all right, here it, I can't spell. Ritual stone. Uh, well, they're not that terrible. But having 16 of them would be really nice right off the get-go. And then we'd go into this uh, Sigil of the Green Growth. But we could take a look into this. I'm going to look at what we need to make these guys. And then uh, we'll kind of try and tackle two birds with one stone here. Put my, put my head up there. Uh, but yeah, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, gang, welcome back. Um, let's do this thing here. Let's go over here and now Rune of Sacrifice. Okay, that should be easy enough to do. Like that. Oh, we don't have enough for one short. Thought I clicked it enough times. Okay, he goes there. These six go like that, and you go like there, and hey, three more runes of sacrifice. Pretty baller. So we're going to go and put them on there. And now let's go over. I dropped our uh, blood alchemy pedestal, our alchemist's chemistry set, right here, because we're going to make our, our guy. 
So to make this guy, it goes something like that and that. Uh, this guy goes like that. And then this guy goes here. And then I'm missing something. Hmm. Weak. Finding agent, a simple catalyst. Oh, and glowstone. We need glowstone. We'll need three glowstone. And then that should be able to go. Because I want to make three at once, kind of a deal. Because we're going to need at least one of them for the quest. And then two more make up the catalyst, as you saw. And that's pretty much how we're going to finish our day off. Because now we're starting to get a little long in the tooth here. Let's put him down. And now we're going to put... You three, like, one, two, three. Like that. And then for now, we'll just put the blood runes in here. Oh god, things are exploding over my head. That's okay. Okay, so they're like that. Is that actually working? Oh, that worked really quickly. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Two of those, one of those. And that should make our, our finger. Wham, weak binding agent. Solid. Now we just need to make a potion. Potion flask. How do I make a potion flask? Sweep left. Ah. Uh, I would need, oh, okay, so I just put a, a glass bottle on the, the blood altar. I can do that. Do this, go over here, grab ourselves, I believe I put something in the new idea chest that I did. Give to us a potion flask. Give to me a potion flask. That would be preferable. Let's, let's kill some of these bastards. There it is, one potion flask. Oop, my game lagged a little bit there. Perfect, one potion flask. Let's open up our quest log. And we'll... Pick the reward bag. I'm gonna go into gamble here. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What do we get? What are you? No idea what you do. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go back downstairs really quickly. We'll consume a heart. Perfect. I will consume a heart for full life. Back to 31. Thank you very much. And now let's open up this reward bag. It is a grader, so I'm not expecting good things. And I get a wooden sword. Awesome. With silk touch 10 on it. <laughs> Thanks a lot, game. That's fucking awesome. Okay, well, you can go back in there. Uh, the only thing left to do is attempt to make our, our musician's blood orb, which we may be able to do. Uh, let's grab... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I need four of them, right? That makes three. I need one more glowstone. Okay, like that. Four glowstone. Now let's. Let's. First of all, let's sleep the night away. And we'll see what we get. Because I want to see if this actually makes the tier three altar or not. Now keep in mind the reason I got glowstone is not because I want some lighting blocks, but because it is required that these blocks, these cornerstone blocks, oops, shit. Uh, I'm gonna break you. Ow. Thanks for nothing, game. These cornerstone blocks have to be glowstone. Okay, if I grab my Divination sigil. And I tap the altar. Tier three. Bam. Okay, so we still need to make the runes of augmenting sacrifice. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna actually try and get a shut off for this system built between this episode and next. 
Uh, the alchemy thing worked better than I expected it would be. I don't know what this is supposed to do. Let's find out. What did you do? What did you do? What if it... No effects. Okay, so it didn't actually doesn't actually do anything. Uh, good to know. Fire resistance. That's actually really cool. Um, let's see. That pretty much does it for me today, guys. We're going to get this guy uh, next episode for sure. We just needed to build a system to, to go with it. We may try and touch on, on some Thomcraft stuff, but I mean, this is just a proper pain in the ass. Um, beyond that, we really should get working on our ME system after that. So, still lots to do, still lots of fun to be had, guys. As always, if you liked the episode, please leave me a like. It helps me out tremendously when you do that, uh, and all that kind of jazz. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, do leave them below. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys had fun. As always, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.